Hi guys, we are going today to be making an Anzac Day wreath with our poppies and our leaves and this is a craft activity for you to be able to do at home. So what you are going to need to make your um, wreath is you will need a paper plate to start, this is what we are using for the outside, so we will need a paper plate, you will need some scissors, you will have to cut your plate and you will need a green crayon to colour in or you can use paint or textures. You will need some green paper and you will need some black tissue paper and also to make your poppies you will need some red patty pan cases. We'll also need a pen and a glue stick. Right, okay, let's get started. Okay, so what we do is we take our paper plate and you might need an adult to help you with this because we're going to be using scissors and we're going to be cutting out our Anzac wreath shape. Okay. We go round in a circle. All the way round. And it will give us Thing that looks like this and then what we do is we take our crayon we take a green crayon and we're going to colour all the way around the outside and I know you've all got crayons at home because Mrs Sweet sorted them all out for you so you need to colour with your crayon all the way around the outside until you've covered all of your wreath just do the edges, cover it up, and you can use textures if you want to, you can use crayons, or if you've got paints at home, maybe mum will let you get the paints out, but remember to put an apron on. Okay, so there's our wreath. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover our wreath, and we're going to put some leaves. So we're going to get some green paper, and if you don't have green paper, you can use white paper, and you can colour in some leaves and then cut them out. I'm going to use green paper and I'll just show you, I'll cut a little bit out like this. Now you can draw on a leaf shape, round, round, like so. And we can put a line up through the middle and put the detail of the leaf on, like so. There we go. And then we're going to cut it out. So go carefully and again if you need some help with this I'm sure there'll be an adult around that will give you a hand because we're using scissors so we need to be careful and there's our leaf so if you've cut some out before you can decorate those up you can use a pencil or a pen it doesn't matter but we can just put the leaf detail on just like so there we go now when we've done our leaves what we're going to do, we'll clear our mess away, make sure you put your rubbish in the bin. We're going to clear our mess away and then we're going to take our leaves. Now, where did Mrs. Dalt put her glue stick? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that, as if by magic. Okay, here's my glue stick and I'm going to glue on my leaves. So we'll put a little bit of glue on the back of them and we're going to glue them onto our wreath like so. And it doesn't matter, you can glue them on however you want to. We're just going to glue them on like that. And you can glue them on all the way round till we've got a whole lot of leaves. I'll just add some more here. And then in just a moment we'll get on with our flowers. So we'll put lots on and now we're going to add the flowers. Okay, right. Finish the wreath. Oops, I've lost one of my flowers. Let's stick it back on. Okay, last one. On it goes. And there you've got the outside of your wreath. Now we're going to add some flowers to it. Now I've got ordinary red cupcases. We're going to add some poppies. So you take one of your red cupcakes and you flatten it out if you run your finger across it. 
it softens it and flattens it out so it gives us our petals around the outside. You can then take a pen and you can draw a circle in the middle, a black circle, like so. Or if you have some tissue paper, you can rip off some tissue paper bits and you can squish them into a nice little ball. Same again, flatten out my patty pan case. And then you can take some glue and you can put it in the middle to make the middle of your poppy. And you can stick on your little bits of black tissue paper. And if you look here, here's one I made earlier and another. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to place our poppies on our leaves, just like so. And we're going to put them all the way around the outside. So we'll stick them on and it doesn't matter. You can have a mixture of poppies because this one has got pen in the middle as my little black center of my poppy. And I've got some with the tissue paper. So I'm going to keep putting those around until my poppy wreath is filled up. So it shouldn't take me too long. Just put some in the middle. Oh, lost another leaf. Look there. And another one. And we keep going until we get the finished wreath. Okay, I'm going to add my very last poppy to my wreath. Oh, it's not looking too bad. There we go. And this is your Anzac Day poppy wreath. And if you're going to be part of the Anzac service, dawn service, maybe you can pop outside your house and put this out on your driveway so that people can see it. Have a great day.